right. This is the New York Post, uh, the November 29th, a record of comedy and politics of the world. Baloney left. You know what them commies did? The supporters of Hamas, the terrorist organization, they went and they tried to break up a beautiful Thanksgiving Day parade here in New York. It's disgraceful. First off, they have their ball ball about genocide going on in uh, Gaza. It's not that way at all. The Israelis are trying to do everything not to have collateral damage. Hamas is more, more like a bunch of cowards hiding behind women and children and putting themselves in uh, in uh, in uh, situations there where they're hidden behind the innocent, you know. And 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 then uh, the the Palestinians there are claiming genocide. It's not genocide at all. It's never been genocide. The you know there are millions of Palestinians there. And let me tell you something about your Palestinians. They went into Lebanon. They caused the civil war there. They went into Jordan. They caused the civil war there. They have not been a uh, peaceful, tranquil force when mixed in with other populations. They try to take over, and they're terrorists by nature. They are the equivalent of the Nazis, really. There's never been inter uh, Hamas and Hezbollah and all those guys are terrorists, murderous terrorists. And we'll, and Israel has been bending over backwards, uh, putting up with the stuff. But now you got Yetanyahu, and with biblical precision, he's he's you know what they had the. Uh, the, the little remote controls blowing up in their pants and they're killing all the, the, the top leadership of both organizations. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, if we had done that during World War II and taken out Hitler or during the Cold War taken out Stalin, we would have been a lot better off. Let me tell you something. It's ridiculous. First off, everybody who... Uh, protest against the United States burns up flag. They should be deported. They shouldn't be students doing getting uh, student loans. They're out. They're not Americans. They're subversives. In the eighteen, and then when the FBI was put together in uh, in in the, in the turn of the century or thereabouts, they kicked out uh, all the commies. Kicked them out. Kicked them out. And that's how that idiotic uh, civil libertarians union was formed to defend commies and now they're defending commies but they don't, they don't defend the uh, conservatives the blind spot with the conservatives so fine fine you know double standard well the the, the new sheriff in town and this stuff is going this nonsense is going to end now, let me tell you something yoga pill what do you think about that Used to be, I had to go into a room, get in the little thought, flirt with some girls, and do your yoga. Now you can take a pill. That's it. Then they have pills to lose weight. I'm actually uh, doing that myself. But I ain't gonna take no yoga pill. I don't need no yoga uh, to breathe better and concentrate more. What craziness is this going on here? I want if I do a yoga pill. It'll be I'll be the pill of doing yoga so I can see some nice little stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you thought. Oh, hot yoga, if you know what I mean. Gangs, gun, gangs, gunmen. This is the, the Venezuelan invasion. You know what we got here? We know what we got here. We got invaders. We got invaders from other lands. We should have a declaration of war. Forget about deporting them back to Venezuela. You know what? We should We should declare war on Venezuela. Send and uh, summary executions of all these people who are doing all this grind here. They're taking over housing projects and shooting people and killing people and raping and murdering. And we're just letting them in. Well, the Biden was letting them in. Now, no more. No more. They're gonna, we're going to come down with the hammer. The hammer's coming down. That's what you should do. The hammer. And, and they don't have civil. They're not American citizens. They're a foreign invader. We're being invaded by a foreign country. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the absolute truth about the matter.
Drug bust, yeah, let's see here. Rocky, true so far. Ah, they're doing truces in the Middle East. You know how that's going to last. You know, because the the Hamas and yeah, Espanol and yeah, Iranians don't want really peace with Israel. They want the elimination. They want the genocide with Israel. They want to, from the river to the sea. And then after they get rid of the Israelis, they'll start to kill each other because that's the nature. Innovators with ideas. True self. True, innovators with ideas. This is good. These innovators, they have ideas of how to shrink the government. The government is, is bloated. There's a lot of a lot of graft going on here and a lot of uh, waste. And then now you have the genius, the, the Elon Musk, and then you have the uh, Swami Swami, the Indian guy, another billionaire. They know how to run businesses. They you know, say, oh, dear billionaires, therefore they shouldn't have rights. They're superior to these government people who can who can basically steal money from the taxpayer and not even be efficient. Hey, kill a fin with a fin. This is getting a little weird. You know, you think of whales as nice people or nice mammals or floating there. Okay, they got the killer ones and they, they have them, the fin of the, the victims. Uh, and uh, who are these victims? Are they are they uh, are the whales? They have sharks. They have dolphins. Kill the whales. Tell them. you were going to target the the um the the um, the uh, Ukrainian uh, leaders. That's what Putin is saying. And, uh, and also saber rattling with his missiles, his atomic missiles, and he's got the big uh, missiles. And I, I feel bad for the Ukrainians because they don't stand a chance. Right now, we're getting our money, but we're also willing to fight to the last Ukrainian. What they're saying is we they should have, uh, they have a million uh, Ukrainians under arms. A lot more Russians are coming in there to outnumber the Ukrainians. And the Ukraine, the, uh, we are saying, hey, NATO is saying, hey, look, Lower your 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 miss your 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 draft age, and you know right now we're gonna run on Ukrainians. It's a mathematical proposition here, and Ukrainian the Russians are using North Koreans now. What chance has the Ukrainians have? They're not gonna out. They're not gonna outlast the Russians. You need them. You know, I feel bad. They're gonna be a bitter. Because we're going to, you know, we're trying to bleed the Russians. They only, the Russians might get stronger from all this because they're getting united because they don't like to be brief. They don't like to be counterbomb. Even though they start to bomb you, the Russians are, you bomb us, we couldn't bomb you, but you couldn't bomb us. That's the attitude. It's not a very nice attitude. It's a bad attitude. Oh, <sighs> no. Troops, pillagers, was drug, or pillagers, ones. Dog, uh, uh, a, a girl, a dog. He looks like Ernest Borgnine with a mushed face. He was best, best dog in show. I love that. I love those little smushy face doggies. They they couldn't exist in nature. They you know they, they and they have uh, breeding problems because somebody mushed them in the face. So how do you get what? What did you, why did you make a dog like that? That's crazy. Oh, hell. D E I E I. That's you know what that is. That's bullshit. The D E I. Oh, there is no such thing as microaggressions. If you're saying somebody's microaggressing me, it means you're a paranoid. Let me tell you, as a person who's been paranoid in the future, I I, I have imaginations of uh, of being persecuted, but I know it's persecution. I don't attach it to some physical big movement where I'm going to be at all offended. That's what it is. You got a lot of sociopaths. Now you got a few different you got DEI who's a hustler, the cheap hustlers, and you know, they wanna make money and they wanna put you on the defensive. And then you have your true believers, the the those who've been brainwashed since birth to to do this, who are both white and black. It doesn't matter. And then you have your your lunatics. Your lunatics who are paranoid to begin with and they're going in with this stuff. That's what you got. Oh, hell, dude.
he and I, everybody, it's going gonna, it's gonna to collapse. Kavanaugh situation, it's a return. They have a war hero. This is a war hero. A war hero, a great man. He has tattoos. He's a war. He's a he's an alabaster nationalist. Maybe I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so at all. I don't think he's a he's a white supremacist. He's a nationalist, maybe of about America. God bless. But he's not. He's an American. He's war. He's he's fought alongside the black man, the white man, the yellow man, and the brown man. And that he's a great man, and he's all for the veterans. And he will straighten out this, and he'll get rid of all this, uh, this DEI in the military, and all this this gay uh, power centers where they're having uh, uh, transvestites and and cross dressers uh, and and uh, hoodie dances uh, do things for little kids in uh, in in the military, the little military kids. It's not going to work. It's it, you've gone too far. You pushed it too far, you crazy bastards. Hey, Jay Diamond, he was a pretty good guy in terms of, um, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, whatever, you know, uh, economics. This is uh, Donald Trump's year. This country is going to be run right now. This is it's going to be a battle. You know, you're going to have to declare martial law. You're going to have to round up a lot of these lefties. You know, throw them out. Throw them out or shoot them. That's your choice. That's your choice. If I had my way, I'd put them in the gladiator pit together. Make them entertain us like the Romans used to do. That's what they do. Yeah. Romans used to entertain themselves that way. Okay. I said my piece. I said my piece. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I opened my eyes. My eyes opened up to all this nonsense. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Look at the pictures of me when I passed in the boxing and the whole thing. 